Hey everyone, I'm just going to show you training I had last night. Did some high bar, no belt, pause squats. Wanted to work up to that 405 pause squat because I wasn't very satisfied when I did it the other day and I knew I had a better high bar, no belt, pause squat in me. So I go to the gym, get into the squat rack that's about 75 feet or so away from my favorite burrito shop that's on base. It's really just my favorite one on base because it's simply so damn close to the squat rack probably getting mad gains in the squat rack without even squatting just because of proximity to burritos. So I put on 315 right here, do that forever pause down there, breathing just a little bit, not Greg Knuckles style because that dude is a madman. Bigger the beard, the more insane your lifts are. Science. I got no beard so lifts are not insane. Unfortunately. Got that face of a baby. But hey, just makes me get ID'd until I'm like 100 years old. Whatever. Go up to 385 right here. Usually I would just go from 365 up to 405. However, 365, I had a little bit of doubt in my head, so I had to get those little doubt demons out of my brain, put on 20 pounds, went up to 385, sunk it deep in the hole. You can see my calves to hamstring squat right there. Can't go ass to grass just because my hammies are ginormous. I say that's probably from all the sumo deadlifting and whatnot that I've done. Because I don't do a lot of direct hamstring work. Well, I do curls and stuff, but I don't know. Anyways, take this 405 down into the hole, hang out for just a little bit, contemplate life some, stand back up, no sweat, just a little bit of forward lean, nothing I'm going to be too concerned about. Now this is where the video really takes off. I go over to the bench press. Bench has been feeling pretty good lately. I think it's all those curls making my elbows feel better. Those hammer curls, dumbbell curls, all kinds of curls. 16 ounce, 12 ounce, 24 ounce curls, if you know what I mean. Do that 275, pause it forever. 295. These three jokers over here on the bench next to me, these guys, uh, they were cracking me up. Just look at that dude in the tank top. He's like, whoa, oh my god. It just gets worse for him though. So don't even watch my bench. You've seen me bench 315 before. This, is, this isn't this is good. It's not what you want to watch. Watch that dude in the blue tank top. Yep, he's Myron. He's straight Myron. Had to steal the dude for this 335 right here. His buddy. Not that I didn't think I could get it, it's more just as a safety precaution, because should shit hit the fan, I don't want to be that guy. And I'm not like an expert on the roll of shame. I'm just not as good at it, because you knock on wood, I don't fail that often. So I don't have a lot of practice with the roll of shame. After I go to the 335 pause bench, and I hit that a few weeks ago, and uh, the pause was not very good, but I feel much better about that pause. Go to back offsets, bodybuilder style. This right here was very interesting because I knew it would be difficult. I didn't know it would be as difficult as what it was. So I work up to a 275 triple. This is 265 right here. And 275 is something like 60 pounds less than what I just hit with a, uh, a pause bench and it was significantly harder than that pause bench and uh, I've never done this legs up style benching before uh, mostly because I had just thought it was stupid and pointless and I was completely wrong because I got a serious shoulder and chest pump from very very little volume and I was surprised and so maybe I'll keep doing that too just every now and then again just because it's fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy getting those weird looks in the gym. Thanks for watching.